Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with another weekly reset video here that's happening today. For today, we're going to be going through all of the upcoming events and changes uh, to come in addition to some of the events that will also be going live this week that you should be aware of to stay on top of this. As per usual, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stay up to date with Marvel Strike Force content, crush these events completely free to play, just like myself, please make sure you follow along, hit that like button, and follow the channel for future videos just like this. So first and foremost, we're going to be starting with some of the events that are already wrapping up in case you guys aren't aware, and then we'll talk about some of the newer ones that we have been uh, preparing for up to this point, and now uh, it's going to be a very, very exciting week, ladies and gentlemen. So if you head over to the milestones here, there's a couple that are wrapping up that you should be aware of that you might want to take advantage of in case you haven't. So uh, first and foremost, there was this new weekend Arena Warriors event. Um, it was actually live for two and a half days. So as you can see here, um, I think I just have to do one more Arena battle to get the Milestone 12. Now, um, for those of you that don't have Gladiator unlocked, then Milestone 11 is probably going to be your limit here. But regardless, it's a good opportunity for more of these um, Gladiator Annihilator or Fragments. Sometimes you guys can hit the jackpot, but I know it's been only giving me... Uh, one shard every five or six orbs so it hasn't been great but honestly guys um you know free shards is free shards and sometimes there's that rng which is kind of what you're waiting for that golden ticket right and just to recap for you as well in case you're wondering how to score points again this is the breakdown you have to battle an arena with silver surfer you only have to do that once same with ultimus and then again if you have gladiator at five stars and above this actually gives you way more points but otherwise just battle in arena and you can see i just need to do one more um and then that's going to give you the 500 points per and then finally if you do have gladiator he gives you that nice 3,000 points so this is a good one this is going to be happening for the next few weekends i believe um because of the fact that they're just trying to promote everything happening with um with the annihilators team i also want to point out too uh quantum disco is finishing up here so this is the battling in a war and iso eight campaign energy uh, there's also a back-to-back -back iso eight campaign energy but this this is a really good example of what hoarding has done ladies and gentlemen because of all the iso eight we were able to hoard and take advantage of bonus points you can see we actually got really really deep into this milestone it's a darn shame that there wasn't a leaderboard but regardless we were able to take advantage of some free rewards and then lastly um this one is also wrapping up today so make sure you guys had a chance to review this the pool party chill out this is really big i made a video on this last week but essentially what you wanted to be gunning for was the milestone 15 because it gave you three mega gold orbs again that chance for 100 million gold is always coveted and enticing especially if uh this is a free to play fan let me show you the scoring too you did not need the core for this event. There's more than enough time and energy to actually get through this. But you can see, you didn't need to actually go through all the pool party energy, as you can see. Um, the Magneto event was almost completed here, 1,400 points. And then finally, it was really um, the the collection of these from the daily rewards that actually gave us the, the majority of the points. So hopefully you guys were able to take advantage. Really, um, if you miss some days of logging in, I think that could have put you at risk. But then you may even need the core, but there's still eight hours left. Make sure you guys are checking this off because just some freebies right here which is pretty massive and then otherwise um uh yeah i made a video on this this weekend actually ladies and gentlemen which is um the diamond claws event this diamond claws event is the one that's coming today and it's going to be as you can see right eight hours 16 minutes time recording um it's the big one it's the one we've been we've been saving campaign energy for well over a week now um it's going to involve battling in cosmic crucible as well the usage here of power course there's also a leaderboard tied back to the iso 8 so that's why it's very very important another opportunity here for us to take advantage of iso 8 purple but actually as well uh the first time we're seeing uh diamond old man logan uh being available in the form of reward so that's gonna be big there's also an isotope illumination back-to-back -back alliance event here you can see we have to utilize campaign energy for the iso 8 um to coordinate and then there's also another pool party event i believe this is going to be finally the one that has uh the skin here actually from nice pool yeah so um yeah that's that, it right there oh sorry hot pool i guess i thought they renamed it but yeah this is a good opportunity for that so make sure you take advantage this is the net this is a big one that everyone's been waiting for which is pretty funny uh skin edition there okay so uh, I'll link it below guys for a breakdown of Diamond Claws, but overall, um, just to kind of recap, it's a very, very straightforward event. That's super simple. Just make sure you understand the score mechanics, right? A bulk of it is going to be coming from Cosmic Crucible, so you can see 18,000 points. Um, but really, it's going to be the majority of all these other factors, right? Because campaign energy, the spending of power cores, all of this is going to be unlimited. Uh, so you definitely want to be making uh, note of that because as much as you can spend on power cores and campaign energy, it's going to matter. Uh, and why does this matter? Well, right here, there's a leaderboard tied back to this. 
there's diamonds, there's ice away purple ions, um, there's radioactive credits that you can buy more purple purple ice weight. Um, I think what's going to be reasonable, the general community usually hits around that top 7,500, top 10,000 mark. I think that's a very reasonable mark, but you can see um, the very bottom is kind of where you don't want to be, right? Uh, you do not want to be in this bottom 50 to 100% because you're, you're honestly getting nothing. Even the 26 to 50%, at least you're getting some radioactive credits. So um, I think the general majority for those that are engaged are usually in this top 10,000 and the 1 to 10%. Uh, so just make sure you guys are using your power cores and as well as using campaign energy during this time because that's going to be uh, the majority of where folks are getting points. And that's also why, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's also why we've been hoarding and hoarding and hoarding. So in case you guys missed my video from last week and the week before, I've been making a lot of videos on hoarding. But you can see we have over 5,500 power um, campaign energy ready to go. That's 11,000 points. I also want to point out, guys, um, as I alluded to in the uh, the preview here for scoring, right? Uh, power cores are going to be a very important component. And that's actually a 5x multiplier. So if you're spending, you know, 200 cores per day, uh, over the span of the of the seven days here you're getting you're getting a lot of extra points for power core so that's why it's extremely pivotal that you understand how these events work now the other thing i also want to talk about ladies and gentlemen is gore gore is coming on august 14th two days after today so that means that if you guys are planning to get his unlock um it may make sense to just wait do not use your power course just yet because of the event going live today um i know everyone's going to get really you know hesitant here on wanting to spend power cores he's going to be the big one that you want to unlock okay um unless unless obviously the exception is you want to use power cores to unlock gladiator and gladiator's orb i believe is still i believe he st should still be here in the store that you can take advantage of uh, right here the shire's finest uh, or right there 675 per so if you still want to nibble on that that's still a good opportunity uh, i recommend either his orbs or gore um, because those two are going to add up meaningful meaningful amount of points and at the same time these characters have been absolutely meta changing um ever since i got gladiator i've just been coasting on top 10 milking the 500 port uh, 500 course per day ladies and gentlemen it's been pretty unreal so um that's a wrap right there guys in terms of what's up upcoming here but i also want to point out too this battle pass is gonna be resetting right you can't really spank points for the next battle pass but Aries battle pass week two he's coming in addition to all the new pool party stuff coming and again gore uh and his unlock actually coming in a two day in two days from now but his free to play events probably not going to be the next week but the week after next week's probably going to be gladiators um free to play event uh, so just to be on the watch for that and then finally the big update here uh for the marvel blog of course excuse me marvel strike force blog post uh was that black panther shuri and hank pym are officially getting added uh into the uh the bumps in elite store so that could be on the watch for if you want to get some additional shards from them you would be able to now finally use ultimate credits uh to be getting for that if that's how you guys want to farm but that's a wrap ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think comments below um uh, big big th stuff coming and i'm sure there's going to be some really exciting updates in preparation here for um the rest of the annihilators team also coming into the fold thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one